I'm about to speak on stage and I'm walking around the audience and a young man comes up to me and he says, Warren, hi, how are you? I came here to hear you speak today. Wow, thank you, I, I appreciate that. Your messages and content online is so imp inspiring. Uh, thank you, uh, how did you find my content? My content, I asked, I'm, I'm curious. Well, you see, my girlfriend was going through a really hard time in her life and she was watching your content and it helped her to get through what she was going through. I'm so humbled, I'm touched. Is she here with you today? I asked, it, can I reach out to her on Instagram or somewhere? Maybe there's more I can support her with. He looked down at the ground and then looked back up at me with tears in his eyes. And he said, no, she's not here with me today. You see, she passed away recently and your messages helped her get through what she got through. And that is why I'm here. I was done. I was done. No matter whatever doubts, whatever uncertainties, whatever anxiety, whatever things that are holding me back in my mind, whatever I thought that I looked like, whatever I was afraid of, gone at that second. I was impacted by an unknown impact that I had caused, an unknown impact. And what I got from that is that it wasn't about the, it's not about the likes, it's not about the comments, it's not about the numbers. It's about inspiring and showing up in ways that you never thought you can. And it's the people that do not say anything and are perhaps suffering in silence that hear our stories when we show up. And before this, and the moments before this episode had happened, I was dealing with a flare up. My nose was redder than Rudolph the red nose, red nose. I was not feeling good. My mind, my body was saying no, and my mind was saying, let's go. And I sang to myself, here I go again on my own. As I opened up the door, there's stairs at the venue. I had to get up those stairs with my crutches. And as the guests started arriving, it was weird. I was hiding. But why? Well, I needed to meditate. I needed to, to, I needed space. I didn't like the way that I'm looking. I don't want to talk to anybody. And then I asked myself, why am I here then? Why am I here? What is the purpose? So I got up and I started talking to everybody around and then that happened and it was beautiful. But what was that a second ago, hiding in the corner with my mind of mine? It's been 36 years or more and it takes a lot for me to show up in the ways that I do. I may have deformities on the outside and I may look different and I may have to deal with a disability and an illness, but I am also human but I had to learn ways to get out of my own way in order to show up the ways that I do to make these unknown impacts. And if there's anything that I leave you with today is to let our impacts drive us, to let the unknown impacts drive us and get us out of bed in the morning and give us purpose as I do every day, whether it be a hug or a smile on the street or watching someone walk down the street, dancing on their crutches or in a hospital. We don't know how, who we are inspiring or when or how. It is our unknown impacts that are worth living for.